How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Tonight we're live from where it all began, here in my parents' garage, because I was too lazy to drive all the way down to my new workshop, because it's really, it's not that late, but I'm very tired. I only got back from uh, France yesterday, I was visiting the EU. Uh, so yeah, here we are at the beginning. This live stream is called Lucy, in, um, in honour of our lovely Labrador sheepdog. Now right, Lucy? Are you, are you having a good time? They're always asking about you down in the other place. And I don't know what to tell them. So. She's still alive and well. The tail's still wagging. We just don't see as much of her. Mm. That's right. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm doing this live stream kind of because I haven't posted any content anywhere in a while. Um, yeah, I was in. Uh, got invited to the European Parliament in Strasbourg in France. So... I'm not one to turn down a free holiday, so yeah, we flew over on Monday from Dublin to Frankfurt, then took a bus from Frankfurt to Strasbourg, and yeah, beautiful town, lots of old architecture, medieval buildings and all, still standing, so we uh, spent most of the day just going around the parliament building, talking to MEPs and stuff, and yeah, then we got to spend the evenings going around the markets and the likes of it. Um, so great fun, but uh, not a whole pile of content. Um, yeah, I kind of I would like to do just straight up lifestyle vlogs, but I do feel like I need to marry it with like woodworking content creation as well as just you see you can't go up the stairs. You're never that brave. What's gotten over you? All right, let's see here now. Hey, you just finished your finals and finally able to catch a live stream. Well, that's brilliant. A lot of my friends are finishing up college. So it's, uh, yeah, Christmas is really upon us. Hey, we've got Glenn back in the, back in the super chat. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, you were, you were admiring my, uh, my fun day out on the motorbike today on the Instagram. Follow the Instagram, anyone who uh, wants live updates as to what I'm at. Today, my car was in for service, so I had to take my old Honda 70 1981 motorbike out for for my drive to work. So, um, the first problem I had was the tyre was flat. Um, so I pumped it up by hand very slowly, and it kind of died. Then I ran out of petrol, so I had to kind of sit on it and waddle my bike. And then I just ended up walking my motorbike, probably a good kilometre, to the petrol station. Then... Once I finally got it to a certain point where it could go again, the rim, the, the back wheel burst, the rim, the, what you call it, the tube came out of it. But luckily that happened right next to um, two lovely stonemasons, Tom and Anthony Murphy, who were working on a lovely new entrance to a house out of Cork Limestone. So I got talking to them for ages. They said, oh yeah, we know the owner of this house. Park your bike up there. We'll drop you to your work. And I was like, oh, great. Thank you very much, folks. So I was talking to them for a while, two men who love stone. Um, so yeah, they were admiring all the stone work down in the new workshop. And uh, yeah, I ended up at work then making an axe handle, you know, back to my back to my grassroots, back to the basics. And uh, just when I thought I was ready to sand it all down and apply my... Um, I was actually doing the part where I do the inertia, where I hit the handle into the head and I got distracted um, and I hit some of the, this thing called the palm swell, and it cracked off the handle. So I have to wait for the glue to set now. Hopefully it'll be set tomorrow, and I can sand it all up, oil it, and I have a new video done, ready to go out onto the airwaves of the internet. How are the mallets going? Um, I said I'd make 50 mallets, but I could only make 30 of them, just because of time restrictions. So I posted them all out. Um, a few people disappointed, I know, but... Um, I'll hopefully have another shop up and running before long. How's my hand? My hand is flying it. It's healing up very nicely. We're lucky we didn't take it clean off with a bandsaw, so it's a bit numb up there, but it's it's honestly it's a lot better than it was last Monday. Do I have a schedule for the streams? No. I, I'm bad at sticking to schedules. Which I suppose I could try fix or I could just do nothing about. So far I'm leaning towards the latter. Have I ever tried to make the Lincoln mallet? The Lincoln mallet is Abraham Lincoln's mallet he made when he was a boy. And it's got AB carved into it. And I think it's sold at auction for some ludicrous amount of money. Um, it's a very rustic looking mallet. There's no 
there's no sort of modern bespoke you know symmetry or perfection to it um which is cool that's got its own thing going on but no i've never tried to make a replica maybe i should i don't know what timber he used in it i wonder was it it's probably he probably used hickory or something that we don't have over here we still got 10 out of 10 fingers caitlin are your Facebook... Um, yes, all my Facebook videos are still fake and I cannot for the life of me get them taken down. Apparently the agency are on it, but um, yeah, so I, I leave it in there. I trust them to handle it. So it's a waiting game. More like 8.9 fingers. Yeah, I actually lost the tip of my middle finger as well um, to a, a planar thicknesser there last year. Uh, probably in March, I reckon it was. I was pulling a plank of wood over it and uh took the tip of my finger clean off i remember thinking when it first happened there was no pain the pain hadn't hit me yet so i was like oh god did i just lose the whole tip of my finger but now i was just the flesh off the end um so it took like a good three weeks to heal up but it's it's fully healed now just no feeling in it really um so yeah i do need to be more careful around machines i think i should stick to the hand tools yeah I think I've made too much jokes about losing my fingers that I've just fully jinxed it. How is Lucy? Lucy, how are you? I know you recently heard the news that your mother died about the same, you know. She's only a year older than you. But I think you're in better health, you know. You look after yourself, you don't drink, you don't smoke. You know, you don't really like to go out much. So I reckon she's got another four or five years left in her. Please God. Huh? No? She, she not looking very happy with me now with that one. Has a hand tool ever hurt me? Yeah, sometimes once I was holding a plank of wood like this and I was cutting down a, a, a you know, a plank of wood and uh, I cut the end of my finger here. But that was a long time ago and it's fully healed up. I've uh, heard recently of a story of a lad who was cutting a piece of plywood and he had a circular saw and he, he made the mistake of holding the plywood from underneath and cutting directly. He didn't cut them clean off but he took, I'd say, about five millimetres into all of his, his fingers straight across. But he made a full recovery, apparently. How was France? France was wonderful. Um, good food. Uh, it was Christmas, so there was mulled wine going in the markets. That was very nice. And just buildings that are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm very jealous of, uh, of all them wonderful towns and the architecture. They still have medieval architecture in there. Town centres, it's incredible. Who's Lucy? Lucy's the love of my life. There she is now. She used to feature heavily, you know, I, I milked you for all the views I could get back when I was starting off. So, uh, yeah, she doesn't, she does, she's not down by the new workshop. She doesn't get featured as much, so, yeah. Views have kind of been plateauing ever since. I'm going to have to get another animal to you know make up for you know something a little bit more easy on the eye where did i get my coat got it from a charity shop or not a second hand shop uh that's now closed down in cork city lovely grand and warm stylish as could be you know ventilation in the pockets no the pigeon died unfortunately I like to think he learned how to fly and flew away, but um, I don't think so. Are you looking? You want to go out? Okay. Okay. Are you in or out? Right. Why am I up so late? Just because I feel guilty because I haven't put anything up online in a while. It's actually pretty warm. Worryingly warm. It's the middle of... December it should be freezing but it's like uh, I'd say 7 uh, 11 degrees maybe I don't know Keelan McDonald got their first plane today well congratulations may it um may it serve you well Frank Lewis for Lucy she's class Lucy you're getting premium food now next shop run plans for Christmas going up to Galway on the 20th then uh, seeing the Mary Wallopers live, spending the night there, and then on the 21st, going to Mayo to visit my friend Tom, who makes baskets. Then back down to Cork to spend Christmas with the family. 
Have I ever been to Kinsale? I go to Kinsale a lot. It's a beautiful town. How do I pronounce the name Owen? What am I drinking? I was drinking hot chocolate. I, I normally have tea at this time, but I, uh, I want to go to sleep. And I don't want the small amount of caffeine in the tea keeping me awake. Probably you're having a much less eventful Christmas. Well, that's nice too. Is that tea or something stronger? Just then it's Thursday night. I don't know. I don't know how you like to rewind, but I I need to get up for work tomorrow. Driving up to Clare tomorrow to visit the crowd over at Bunratty Castle and talk about um, my uh, job that I'll be doing there next year. I think I'm spending 40 days giving demonstrations and uh, mostly American tourists is who you're talking to there. So for those of you in America who are planning a trip to Ireland, be sure to check out Bunratty Castle and Folk Park. You might come across yours truly sitting in a smoky old house. Um, you know, doing a bit of woodworking. Cartelin Vega just sent uh, 200,000 IDR. I, I'm not sure what currency that is, but it's, uh, <laughs> that's gas. And with your first super chat. Well, thank you very much, Caitlin. But I see you're a member. Um, hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, your videos always make my day. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, typo? Did you send too much? I can send it back if that was a mistake. Um, do I have a job outside of social media? I've had a few jobs outside of social media. The first job I ever got was in an electronic store called Sound Store. Okay, that's Indonesian rupee. So we got some Indonesian viewers. Thank you. Um, what was this? So yeah, I used to sell laptops and televisions for... Eight euro an hour plus commission. That was my first job. I think I got it when I was like 16. Then, um, you know, before that I had this YouTube channel. I started this in 2015 and I used to make like animation tutorials. So I was making a small bit of money off that. Might have been like $150 a month, which back when you're like 14 is, is a lot of money. Um, so yeah, had my electronics job for two years. Then I quit to go build sheds and fences with a South African lad. He didn't pay me, so I quit. Ended up working an IT desk job for a month or maybe six weeks, hated it. Then was unemployed for a brief period. Um, ended up as a photographer, taking pictures of Santa with children on his lap. Then, then what did I do? Then I worked the front desk of a shopping center for a while. Best job I ever had, loved it there. Um, and then, and then now I'm a full time unemployment we got a super chat in there from john patrick hunt with your first super chat thank you very much you didn't say anything but if you say something there i'll try to look out for your comment do i like to read if so um a small bit i kind of like reading historic books the minute i'm reading a book called stone mad it's about a stone cutter who lived in cork seamus stone mad seamus murphy highly recommend um but yeah i would like to read a bit more i was reading on the travels which was handy uh, we just got a warning there for 10% battery. And for the first time on live stream history, I think we have a working charger. So, with another 13 minutes to go, live stream is saved. Do I know my Irish history? I'd like to know it a bit more. But uh, I suppose you'll never know it all. There's a, one of my favourite podcasts is the Irish History Podcast. For anyone who's in any way interested in Irish history whatsoever, I highly recommend checking it out. Finn Dwyer, what a man. His research is just unbelievable. But, um, yeah. Just, he's got, he's been, I think, doing podcasts since 2013. So he's got quite the, quite the back catalogue built up. So, um, yeah, if you're, I think everything from... Neolithic Ireland, Viking Ireland, Famine Ireland, Medieval Ireland. He's, he's, he's got it all covered. Do, Lindsay. Let me know what you think next stream. Um, did I do an apprenticeship? No, I have no formal qualifications at all. Kind of insecure about it, to be honest. I feel like a bit of a fraud, but also there's no point keeping it a secret either.
Oh, John Patrick Hunt, your family is from Mayo uh, and Sligo. Two wonderful counties. Mayo is better though, say nothing. Have I ever been to Douglas? Where else are you going to go to McDonald's at any hour of the day? When is my birthday? The 18th of July. You, all 283 of you better remember that or I'll be very upset. Um, do more experienced woodworkers ever vibe check? I feel like they judge me because I don't deserve as much recognition for my work as I get and they deserve a lot more than they get. So I think that's fair enough. But I think they, they admire that I'm spreading woodwork awareness and getting more young people into it so you know your son has the same birthday at me I'm two days off your mother Caitlin fascinating I've never been to Antrim no how was the salt salt box is done finished I posted a short about it if you're looking any stoneworks project coming up? Um, nothing in the pipeline just yet. Um, yeah, no. I met two new stonemasons today, so who's who's to say what the what next year will bring? But I'd like to hope so. The stone is profoundly interesting, but I'm not skilled enough to do it myself. So I'd really just have to document a different stoneworker doing his thing. How cold is it there? Again, it doesn't really snow here. Look at Lucy. She, she didn't like being in here at all. She's lying just outside the door. <coughs> Protected me. If I come to Spanish Point Secondary School, is that up in Galway? I don't think I'd be passing by with enough time to do any projects, but who knows? Will I stream on my birthday? I don't know. I, I'd probably be up in Mayo, living out of a van with any bit of luck. So yeah, I don't know, I don't really celebrate a birthday in Ireland really. You get to celebrate your 18th um, because it's like becoming an adult. That's when you get to, you know, legally drink and yeah, you just, that's kind of when you legally become an adult. But for some reason we also celebrate our 21st birthday. We make a big song and dance out of that too. Um, so yeah, my sister had our 21st recently. I didn't have any though. Um... It was COVID times, but I probably wouldn't have had one if it was, you know, normal times either. Have ever thought of a mowing anything else, uh, turning anything else in the lathe? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I um, really enjoy working with the lathe. Here's a bit of boxwood that I um, was starting to turn into a chisel, but gave up on. Wood turning is very fun. It's a great gateway to woodworking. Hey Owen, a new member here, enjoying the time. Well, thank you very much. T Zintzun. Okay, that's because traditionally in Ireland, <coughs> traditionally in Ireland, you were considered a proper adult and you were given a key to your parents' house as a symbol of that. Wow, that's very interesting. Where did you pick up that piece of information? Yeah. Anyway, there'll be no one crashing this live stream. Oh, the chat is frozen. Or maybe no one's commenting anything. Ah, no, here she goes again. I can class myself as a maker. I don't have to be qualified to be a good carpenter. I suppose that's a nice thought. Yeah, hi. Favourite colour? I love I love red. I'm often wearing red shirts. Jay's antique clock uh, collection and antiques. My clock is made of oak and is quite a thing of beauty. I'm very worried about what what the wrong glue might do to the... Uh, a fella I do a lot of work with, Mark. His brother is a, like a gilded clocksmith. So he like... Uh, restores these beautiful ancient clocks um yeah i wouldn't give any advice on clocks or any sort of yeah it wouldn't be my area at all talk to a clocksmith i'd love to give you advice but i, but I wouldn't do it ever made any picture frame no 
Oh, Spanish Point is in West Clare, up by the Cliffs of Moher. Ever made any guitars? I did, I made a guitar out of olive ash for Mr. Dermot Kennedy one time. Do I like tractors? You love vintage machinery. I, I do, but I don't have any real reason to have one myself. Maybe I'll get an old, maybe a massive Ferguson 35 or something, if I need one for moving around big lumps of timber at some point. Or, you know, maybe if I have mad money, I'll buy or restore a steam engine. That's a steam traction engine, that is. But, uh, no, I admire vintage tractors. Um, just pure f the mechanics, no computers or anything. Um... But yeah, I don't think I'm in a in place right now where I will restore one or buy one. Have ever thought about making axe sheets out of leather? I'm working uh, on a handle at the minute for what will become my most used axe. So I bought about 60 quid worth of leather here. Thick ass stuff. So I'm going to hopefully do my first bit of leather working with to make a sheath. My Fred Dibbon's son, I wish. I'd say Fred Dibbon's son is about, he's, he's old anyway. Um, this cap has been getting a lot of uh, wear recently, but uh, I do have about seven different ones. I recently got back um, the first cap I ever bought. I cycled to Killarney Town, it took us a whole day, 10 hours, um, but, uh, we went to some touristy shop and, uh, I put on a flat cap, uh, looked at myself in the mirror and I bought it and I don't think I took off a cap ever since. I wore that cap pretty much non-stop for a year before upgrading to this exact style of cap. But I, um, I bought a, like, a yeah, I, I, this is the second version of that hat I bought a few years later. But during the ploughing of 2022, which is like a big farmer's festival, um, some fella on TikTok called Ryan Marr decided he was going to dress up as a certain culture, yours truly. So he asked me if he could borrow my an old cap. So I gave him my first ever cap because I only had two at the time. So he showed up wearing blue jeans, a red checkered shirt, and all he was missing was the cap. Um, so yeah, there was gas. We were at the tent taking pictures with whoever, and he was dressed up as me. And I was dressed up as me, and he left anyway, and he forgot to take the cap off. And he was also on this trip to France, so it was a year and a half later that I finally get my first cap back. I hope I still have it in my bag. Do I still have a pencil in my cap? No, I had to take it off for airport security, and then I lost it. Actually, I walked up to airport security with a knife in my pocket in Dublin airport, I was just, you know where you go to the thing and you take off your jacket and your belt and your cap? Well, I was at the point where I was taking out my wallet and my phone and I reached down to the bottom of my pockets and I'm like, oh God, that's, that, that's a knife. So I, uh, I reached in and I pulled out the knife anyway and uh, it was a folded knife. At least it wasn't like a, a kind of a, like this knife, you know? And uh, I kind of, I hold it like this. Just, I think that's the least threatening way you can hold a knife. Uh, and I kind of did a bit of a hunch as well to kind of show that I was, I wasn't like, I have a knife. Um, so I, um, I was just, I think I said it to the lad. I was like, I, I su suppose I'll, I'll throw this in the bin. And then he like grabbed it off me, took a step back and threw it in the bin. Didn't say a word. And then they, they sent me on. And then mysteriously, they, um, they searched both of my, my, both of my luggage thoroughly. Yeah. You call that a knife? That's not a knife. This is a knife. Well, no, it wasn't a very nice knife, which I'm lucky. I have a beautiful knife from a friend of mine called... Um, oh, thanks, Sean. Um, actually, do I have it in my... I don't have it in my pocket. Um, I have a beautiful knife made by a man called Kevin from Blackthorn Knives, and I'd be very, very sad if I lost that knife. I'd never forgive myself. But this knife I bought for like 12 euro. They're a beautiful, handy little French knife. Funnily enough, um, yeah, they wouldn't let it back into France. But uh, yeah, that, that was guess. Of course they took the knife. It's kind of good though at the same time. But I wonder what would have happened if I walked through the thing 
And then they patted me down, and then I had a knife. And then on the way home, I did get patted down, but that's because I was really tired and I forgot to take my keys and out of my pocket. Thank you, Sean, again. What's my favourite thing I've ever made? I think this axe handle I'm working on at the minute could be my best. This could be the kind of axe handle I bring home with me because I want to spend more time looking at it when I'm not even using it. Nothing but wood shavings in my luggage. Yeah, they were like, why is why did you bring this for luggage? It's such a waste of precious space and weight. Any good Irish knife makers I know? Yes. Two in particular. Kevin from Blackthorn Knives. Highly worth checking him out. And Jamie Triskel. Or Jamie Smith. You can message me on Instagram and I'll forward you their accounts. You once had a, what's a, a, a metal chuddy wrapper? Excuse the ignorance. Okay, we're four minutes away from finally being able to retire from our stream. Go to bed. What type of rip cut saw would you recommend? Nice old distant one if you can. There's one lying back here actually. Yeah, this I believe belongs to uh, William from uh, Recreation Woodworking. He is in the stream sometimes, but... Uh, Ooh, it's sharp and ready to go and all. Yeah, he's been due this a long time now. A long old time. What was my favourite restoration? That's a tough one. Probably. Looking back, I think I did a terrible job on this. It's, uh, it's just an old axe handle that used to belong to my uh, grandfather. But um, do you know what? It was fun to restore something that had been in the family for so long. What's my favourite football team? I don't really follow football. Um, but I suppose... I don't know, a lot of Irish people support Liverpool. Is that, is that how I'm going to... I feel like anything I say, people will just be like, ah, that's not who I support. There's no point dividing me. I, yeah, I don't follow that. I don't follow football, I'm afraid. Do I have a saw vice? I stole one off Mark, so hopefully when he finds out that I've stolen it, he'll let me keep it. I, I started making a video about it, but I gave up halfway through. That's happening a lot lately. I'm making a lot of videos, and they're just like, no. Nah. This ain't me, this ain't it. I've ever heard of the small town called Bentry. It's a pretty big town, and I've been there a few times. It's beautiful. From Bantry Bay up to Derry K, from Galway to Dublin Town. No maid I've seen like the fair Colleen that I met in the county down. Good night, Lindsay. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the stream, I'd say, in a minute and 33 seconds. What's going on with the video pirates? Nothing so far. If you guys want to keep mass reporting them, I appreciate it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Lucy, you, you've heard we're wrapping up and you've come back for the attention. I suppose you the stream is named after you, huh? What were you hunting out there anyway? Who was bothering you? A woman of few words. Have a pleasant rest, oh I sure will. So where'd she go? Sad. What's the difference between an axe and a splitting rod? Well, I suppose there's countless different types of axes. This would be like a Kent pattern axe. It'd be good for hewing or shaping wood or maybe splitting firewood. Whereas a splitting rod, that'll be this fella here. belongs to my friend Michal. Oh, you're back. Yeah, we're ending it now, don't worry. Are you hungry or something? You're never this this friendly. Does Lucy sleep inside? No, she doesn't really like the indoors very much. Except when there's a party happening, then, then she wants to get involved. Now, right, Lucy.
Right, we passed the 30 minute mark. I'm very much in need of some uh, shut eye. Thanks for everyone who joined. Thanks for everyone who joined the membership. And uh, yeah, the super chats. Appreciate it. Shlana Walia.